MOV for Victor? Yes. And is it right in Boston? Sir, you'll have to talk up. I can't hear you. I believe it's in the suburbs of Boston. Thank you. And it won't be under any other first name other than Isaac, sir. I don't believe it. Thank you. Is this Mr. Asimov, Mr. Isaac Asimov? Yes, it is. The author? Yes. Of, of science fiction stories? Yes. Oh, say, I, oh, say, there are some of us here, uh, and, well, actually, we're all fans, great fans of yours, and we, we were wondering, uh, you know, your robot stories, uh, The Caves of Steel and The Naked Sun? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, well, we all read uh, those novels, and in your, in that book, The Rest of the Robots, you mentioned that uh, you had begun a third one, and we were wondering if you were ever planning on finishing it. Well, <laughs> I can't say. Uh, it's certainly not the horizon now. Where are you calling from? Uh, we're, um, we're calling from Pennsylvania. Um, it's a little town called Myerstown. You've probably never heard of it. Well, I'm sorry that you're spending money on this. You might have written a letter and saved yourself money. Well, actually, we really didn't think we'd get through. We're so, oh, we're so thrilled. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry I can't give you better news. I, I, I'm not about to write the third novel, and I don't know when I can, but on the other hand, I can't uh, honestly say that I'll never write it. You know, one can't foresee the future. Well, thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. Yes. Uh, uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> Isaac Asimov's novel, The Robots of Dawn, was finally published 17 years later in 1983. Shortly after this telephone conversation, Dr. Asimov obtained an unlisted number. <laughs> 